Tonight on Live Underground, it is like a motorcycle. Three women who rock ever so hard. And, well, their bassist, Kim, joins me on the phone. Hello, Kim. Hey, how's it going? Going wonderful. Lots going on with you guys. Brand new EP that's uh, expected to come out later on this month. You got a little tour on the go. And as I understand, you didn't go to, like, a big fancy studio for the uh, recording of this EP. Track's done in an apartment. Yeah, we recorded actually with a friend of ours, Jay Method, from bands like the Fan Todds. He has a little bit of a home studio, and we went in and and did just, uh, it's a six-song EP, live off the floor for the instruments, and uh, yeah, it it sounds great. We're really excited. And what do you like about uh, doing something in like a little small apartment and doing it all just sort of without massive overdubs and big, huge studio productions. What do you like about the sort of small... Um, well, it's great because for us, when we went in to do it, well, we're a fairly new band, so it's, it's nice to be able to do everything together and just, like, kind of the energy, um, you know, you get the energy thriving off each other as you do it, and I think that really translates, the live performance translates well into the recording, so the energy kind of comes through, which is awesome. So when it comes to writing songs, who's the main uh, songwriter within the band? We do it in lots of different ways. You know, someone will bring, you know, a riff or an idea, and I generally uh, write most of the lyrics, and so I'll bring, you know, maybe some lyrical ideas for a riff that, you know, maybe Jill, who plays guitar, right? And Michelle, she's a drummer, and she often will do a lot of the arranging of the actual song. So it's it's very organic uh, between the three of us that the songs come together. And it's kind of cool because you each take a, a little bit of turn vocally, adds a little kind of cool dynamic to every song you do, and makes it sort of a, a different sound as well. Yeah. Um, well, we we all can, you know, we all sing, and it's it's just kind of like a really good resource for us because we can split up the the vocal activities during a show so someone's not you know exhausted from doing all the singing and we can do a lot of harmonies and a lot of backup vocals which is what we love we love to do we love to take advantage of the fact that we can all sing so yeah it's really fun (laughs) to do that kind of thing too now, I, I'm not a big fan of the term chick band or that sort of label. I know, oh, me either. I because hate there's it. a lot of great <laughs> women that have proven themselves in rock music. And so I think it's it's definitely not a boys' game anymore. But how would you end up describing your guys' sound? Uh, yeah, it's funny. We, we were kind of like a girl band by accident. We didn't really like set out to do that. So it's just, it's rock and roll, you know? It's, it's a. We got a little bit of a distortion, a little bit of a grunge influence in there. But at the same time, you know, we have dancey beats and really melodic bass lines. And, and it's just, you know, fresh rock and roll. It's very, like, just an original take on on things that we love. And we get a chance to check you out tonight at Gus's Pub. And there's a whole list of performers playing tonight, actually. I think Carmen Townsend, yeah. the Motor League... Holy Snappers, who uh, some of the members used to be the Cuban Assassins, will be there as well. And you! Yeah, uh, it's actually one of the most exciting lineups we've got to play with so far, so we're really pumped to, you know, have been asked to do this show. It's kind of nice to be able to technically say the Carmen Town's an open for you too, right? I know, I know. So, I mean, it's a good reason to get there on time, you know, don't be late, 10 o'clock, you know, because you don't want to miss her. She's Her solo stuff is absolutely amazing. So what can we expect for your set tonight? Oh, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be high energy and a lot of very fast rock and roll songs. We're gonna be bringing it. We're excited. The other bands are you know so amazing that it's it's just a a good chance to step up and play some good rock and roll. Well, let's get to a song of yours now. It's "Love You Like a Motorcycle" from "Like a Motorcycle" on Live 105's Live Underground.